Ren Chung Yu, um, one of my classmates, and I started up a group within DSW called GRIN, which was for Green It Now, um, and that was performing energy audits of buildings on campus. And so our first, our first audit was of the greenhouse, the green-themed, environmentally-themed dorm. Um, and as part of our audit of the greenhouse, one of the things we said would be really cool to do would be to put, would be to put solar panels on top of it. We started thinking about it more, and the idea to put it up on top of the Ford building uh, came about. And it made a lot more sense because there was a lot more room up here. Um, it could have a much bigger impact. Within the first month, maybe two months of doing our research, we had over 30 student groups signed up saying that they supported um, where this was going and they thought it was a good idea for the university. The students presented us some initial information on the project and uh, we looked at uh, the building infrastructure and its capability to support the the panels and it seemed like it was a good fit so we gave them our letter of recommendation to proceed and uh, they took it from there and, and ran to get the funding. We tried to leverage basically every resource on campus and off campus that we possibly could and in total we raised $117,050 um, for the entire array. The largest donor to the fund was the Illinois Clean Energy Community Foundation which gave over $65,000. Uh, and that was just a grant that we applied to and were approved for. As you can see, here's the array. It's basically built, but the weather has been pretty terrible for the past couple days, so not generating too much energy so far. The panel is a 17 kilowatt solar array, uh, which means that in a good sunny day, that's what it's going to be making at a given instant. It works out to estimated about 20,000 kilowatt hours per year. Uh, we estimated to power a decent sized computer lab or other device in Ford. Ford's a, a LEED certified building, so it's very sustainable and very energy efficient. However, it's also a six or seven story building with a AutoCAD shop or machine shop and many computer labs. So it does draw a lot of power. It's an extremely direct, um, low impact way of producing electricity on site. Um, the the on site aspect is important because we are a big consumer of electricity here on campus. So the way a basic solar panel works, um, in our case, is that the, the sun will shine and it will excite electrons on the panel, which drives them through the circuitry. All solar panels are DC current, um, and there's a small box underneath the panel that's an inverter. Um, we went with a cool micro-inverter approach rather than using one large inverter. We have many small ones, about one per every two panels, and those inverters will transfer the electricity from DC current to AC current, um, alternating current, which is what we use throughout the building. This is Northwestern's first on-site renewable energy source. I think it's remarkable that uh, the students were able to make this happen. Uh, to come up with all the funding from all the various sources that they did to justify it to all the different departments uh, on campus that had to buy into the concept. They were really capable of writing a convincing proposal and raised most of the money outside the university. Um, so the students have shown not only technological savvy, uh, but also financial savvy. I've learned a lot about project management and learned a little more about what I might want to do later when I graduate from Northwestern, and a lot about how to take your goals and make them align with a, the goals of another group. To see it come about and actually be up here and seeing them installed, it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, it's great to know that something is gonna be, you know, on this campus beyond my time and that I'm having some sort of an impact on it to really do things like this on campus so it's great to see that.